Hello everyone, welcome back to Photo Stories. This is a series where I just share some recent photos I took and the stories behind them. Uh, so today is Dayton, Ohio City, uh, cityscape, skyline, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, really doesn't matter, but it all means the same. So um, yeah, this is my first time actually doing a cityscape, uh, landscape uh, photograph there. And so I was really interesting. Um, I never really have done a landscape image of a city skyline or anything at all, um, even you know during daytime, nighttime, you know sunrise, sunset. Never done it before. So this is a really new experiment for me and something new. And uh, as a result, I really didn't want to record a video. I just wanted to focus solely on getting the photographs and uh, making them as best as I can as possible. Um, so you know, pretty much all my efforts went into that. Um, but I did take a few uh, timeline or time lapses of it with um, the GoPro, of course, um, just as the sun was setting in the sky and you know casting the glow onto the skyline, and then you know all the lights and stuff on the big buildings and skyscrapers were starting to light up. Um, but yeah, this is really interesting. It was really fun. Um, I feel like I'm going to do a lot more of these uh, cityscapes just because they were um, very enjoyable to create and photograph, and it was a perfect excuse to start doing some panoramas once again because um, it'd been. You know, quite a long time I think since I ever done some. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed how they turned out. And I took about a handful of photographs, at least total. Um, just some ones that are just basic wide angle shots of the skyline. And then, like I said, I did a couple of uh, stitched panoramas later on. Um, but yeah, I really like how they turned out. Um, they're all doing during uh, sunset, of course. You know, so it wasn't really the most plentiful golden hour light because it's been really hazy uh, skies at this time um, due to lots of uh, wildfire wildfires out in the west, I believe. And so it was really hazy, just pink blue skies. Um, not really much like sun, sunset light that was just casting onto uh, the buildings, of course, um, unfortunately. But, you know, it was still nice and it worked out with these nice pastoral colors, um, you know, up in the sky at least. And so another surprise was actually the fountains. Um, there's five fountains that uh, signify the five rivers in the uh, local area of you know, Dayton, Ohio. Um, as they all meet with the Great Miami River that runs right through the entire uh, city. And so, yeah, and I actually included that river a little bit into the uh, foreground and midground elements of all these images as well. Um, but anyways, yeah, these fountains were all turned on and it was a nice surprise um, seeing that. So I set up some shots, um, doing some panoramas, trying to encompass all of the fountains as they all go off. So it's like a panorama. It's got some like long exposure elements with the blurring of the water as it just arcs its way into uh, the Great Miami, and then there's the center fountain um, that's just spouting out in the middle, of course. And so, yeah, that was really that was really cool to finally get that element because that fountain turns on for about five minutes, um, I believe, at the end or start it every hour. And um, yeah, so I happened to get it at the last hour of daylight, at least, and uh, just found a nice position um, after seeing it the hour previously when I was just simply sitting around, really just kind of scouting around and uh, thinking about compositions, at least in my head. Um, but yeah, for that last uh, hour of daylight, you know, finally got the fountains doing this nice arcing motion and got the nice, because um, I had to face it basically, uh, face the sunset that is, just to get all these fountains. So I also got the sun, sunset, like blue hour light as it was pink and blues um, and just all these clouds, you know, scattered them out in the sky. So yeah, it was really cool to get all this kind of, all these elements coming together. And uh, for our first attempt, I was really quite surprised and, um, you know, quite frankly, really pleased with the results. And so I really enjoyed how this whole photo session took. Um, it took several hours at least of just scouting around um, during you know late evening and late afternoon to uh, actually basically just look at the skyline and really see um, what was possible with the photographs. So I literally walked around the river, uh, like the bike path, I, I believe, and just circled around you know a good portion of the, uh, the city just to see different angles of it that I could photograph at you know for that evening or just in the future, of course. And so yeah, there's just lots of Lots of fun, just experimentation and just scouting around and stuff, and uh, you know, getting out of my comfort zone with the, just the creative process and camera, and uh, simply trying something new here. So I really enjoyed how they turned out overall, um, and I hope you do too. So and I actually managed to uh, print one because I was going to enter one of these uh, images, one of the resulting images that is, into an exhibition. Um, so in a way, I kind of took it for the exhibition, but this is something I've already wanted to do for many, many months now. And so I'm really glad I did. And um, you know, quite simply now I'm hooked on uh, cityscape photography. So I'm gonna be doing lots more of it in the future, of course. But So here's a three image uh, stitched panorama. Hopefully you can see that well of the skyline. And I just love like the pink to blue gradient light as it just comes across the sky there and stretches across. 
So it encompasses the entire city. Like I said, you got the Great Miami River um, there in the like the foreground, mid ground, and um, yeah, just overall, it's really, really, it was really fun just to take these images, and it's definitely something I'm going to do in the future, and you know. Like really the possibilities are endless too, simply because you can do like during storms and you can just get this wide look of the entire city behind it. Um, you could do just other, other kind of seasons really, um, maybe some like rainbows or just some, you know, much more fuller sunsets that compared to this one at least, um, which was a much more mellow one, I guess at that. Um, so yeah, I'm just, there's so many possibilities and I'm really looking forward to doing more of it. Um, and it was nice to start out with basically what is my home. Uh, which is Dayton, Ohio, and uh, photograph that and maybe move on to other bigger, you know, Ohio cities and then, you know, even more after that. So there's a lot more to do. Um, and then, you know, there's just all these possibilities, even with like a drone, get some like, you know, nice um, up top perspectives, I guess, uh, bird's eye view, looking down at all these cities too, which, which would be pretty cool, I think. And so, yeah, I really enjoyed how they all turned out. Um, I took all these images with a 24 millimeter uh, pancake lens, my little small one here and a uh, polarizer filter just to uh, make that great Miami waters uh, not be too harshly reflected and all the city uh, w windows and stuff on the, uh, the skyscrapers. Because um, even from how far away it was, uh, it was still pretty tough to get that as I stood there at Deeds Point Metro Park, um, which I filmed a video at previously. And um, yeah, it was a nice vantage point though from there. Um, there's some bridges that were captured in the images that I may um, prop up my tripod legs and stuff and do the compositions in the future from there. Um, that's an idea at least, so that's something to keep in mind. And then um, other than that, yeah, just using, uh, you know, typical, I guess, like camera settings that you would for a landscape like this. Um, shooting at a really small aperture. Um, I believe I was at f14, f16 around there, um, just because there's a lot of, di you know, distance in the image there and depth. And then uh, for shutter, um, I think it varied about, you know, you know, probably about a second or so, but it did kind of uh, slow down a lot more because I wanted to let more light in as it got darker and darker um, at the blue hour after sunset, of course. And then uh, ISO, I tried to keep it around uh, 400, 500, um, but as it got, like I said, once it got darker and darker, it was going to introduce more noise, so I tried to keep it lower and lower um, at a slower ISO number, so it's probably more like 100 or 200 or so. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty much it with these. Um, I really enjoyed taking them and uh, stitching these uh, panorama images together. And it was just a lot of fun to experiment and try something new here. Um, so let me know if you enjoy these videos and um, if you enjoy this story and uh, you know, like it and share it, of course. So that's pretty much it. So thanks so much for watching everyone and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.